Hey guys, I'm ETA Prime and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with the Nvidia Shield Android TV and I want to test out some Atomus Wave and Naomi emulation using the recently updated Raycast Core in RetroArch. If you follow the Libretro team, the guys who make RetroArch, you know that the Recast or Raycast Core has been updated to support Naomi and Atomus Wave. I had a few viewers ask me to test it out on the Nvidia Shield Android TV, so today that's what I'm doing here. We're using the LR Recast or Raycast Core, whatever you want to call it, to emulate Naomi and Sammy Atomus Wave on the Nvidia Shield. There was a lot of games that I wanted to test out, but unfortunately I'm running into kind of a big issue here. When I go to load up certain Naomi games, it's going to give me the configuration isn't correct. It's going to give me this Caution 51 or Era 51. Game assignments aren't correct for this game. But when I go into the system menu, I have no way to navigate to change any of these options here. I've tested an external keyboard, I've tested other controllers, but there is no way for me to choose any of these options in the Naomi system menu, so I cannot get some of these games up and running. Hopefully, somebody knows of a fix out there, and that's really why I mentioned it. If you've run into this issue on an Android device and you know how to get through this menu, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, I did get a bunch of games running here, and I just want to show you that we are on the NVIDIA Shield Android TV, running the latest version of RetroArch as of making this video, which is 1.75. Another thing to note with this emulator and Naomi and the Thomas Wave games is you cannot scan a directory and pick up those games and put them on the end here. If you use RetroArch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you kind of got to go through and load the file manually. I've already done that with a few games so I could quickly access them. And when we go to the next games, I'm not going to bore you with the bio screen and everything like that, but I want you to see it booting up here. This is Metal Slug 6. The FPS will be listed in the lower left hand corner here. Overall, most of the 2D games are performing really well with the NVIDIA Shield Android TV, be it Atomus Wave or Naomi. There's also an option to set up threaded rendering with this emulator, but unfortunately, it's giving me issues on the Shield. Having controller lag issues, crashes, so I cannot enable threaded rendering, which definitely helps out performance. I was able to get a couple games to work, but I still had a lot of controller lag with that on for some odd reason. Hopefully the Raycast devs can fix this in the future, but for now, it's pretty awesome to see Naomi and Atomus Wave games running on an Android device. I'm going to show you some of the options available in this Raycast emulator. We're just going to scroll down a little bit. We can also change the internal resolution. Find that the shield performs best at 640 by 480 and I know we could go up a little higher if we could get threaded rendering working properly with this emulator. But for now 640 by 480 there's a bunch of options in here and if we go down I have threaded rendering off because for some reason I'm getting massive controller lag and crashes. So by controller lag, I'm talking like three to five seconds delay here. So I'm going to go through a few more games here. I will have the game name up at the top right hand corner. We also have the FPS in the bottom Stage left hand one. corner. This is Demolish Fist. This is one of those games I was able to get into gameplay with threaded rendering on, but I still had that controller lag. I was at a constant 60 FPS with threaded video, but it's pretty much unplayable because you can't control your character properly. Performance isn't bad with threaded rendering off on this game. We're not at a constant 60 FPS, but we fluctuate between 52 and 57 FPS. It is playable. I do notice some sound glitching going on, but this is really early for Raycast running Naomi and a Thomas Wave game, so it's only going to get better over time. Go. 
Another cool 2D beat-em-up game, Knights of Valor. You might notice that this is doing some really crazy camera work. This is how the game was intended to be. But it's a 2D beat-em-up with kind of a 3D background, so we do have kind of a 2.5D area to walk around in. This is actually a really fun game to play with two players. Next up, we got King of Fighters 11. This is the arcade version. This isn't the PlayStation 2 version here. It's pretty smooth. I do notice some sound crunchies every once in a while, but other than that, it's totally playable here. This is border down. We're not getting great performance here. Now, if we had that threaded rendering working on the NVIDIA Shield, I'm sure this would run at full speed, but for now, we're at half speed, 26, 30 FPS. Sound is really slow. It's pretty unplayable. And finally, another great game. This is called Dolphin Blue. It's pretty much Metal Slug with a lot of dolphins in it. So overall, the NVIDIA Shield Android TV is running it pretty well. Now, Raycast is only going to get better as time goes on. I have tested some Dreamcast games here, and performance is much better than older versions. The team has been doing a great job with this core here, and all they need to do is iron a few more bugs out. We definitely need threaded rendering with the NVIDIA Shield, but the hardware is capable of running Dreamcast, Naomi, and Atomus Wave at full speed. We just need good software to do it. So if you're interested in testing this out on your NVIDIA Shield or any other Android device, go to the Google Play Store, download RetroArch, make sure you get the latest version of Raycast from the core section. It's really easy to set up. I'm also going to leave links to Libretro's website. You can find out what BIOSes you need from there. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.